हेलो चिल्ड्रेन साई राम टुडे इन ग्रामर स्पिरेट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर सेवन वर्ब्स ओके दिस चैप्टर इज ऑन योर टेक्स्ट बुक पेज नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स एंड फोर्टी सेवन आर यू आर सिटिंग विथ योर ग्रामर टेक्सट बुक एंड पेंसिल्स एंड इरेजर्स चिल्ड्रेन नॉट यट कम ऑन गो फास्ट एंड ब्रिंग इट ओके कम ऑन ओपन योर पेज नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स एंड फोर्टी सेवन कैन यू सी देर चैप्टर सेवन वर्ब्स वेरी गुड सो ऑन योर पेज नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स चिल्ड्रेन दिस पिक्चर्स आर गिवेन सी हियर यू हैव टू रीड द फॉलोइंग एग्जाम्पल्स कैन यू सी टू बॉयज दे आर टॉकिंग विथ ईच अदर इट सेम्स राइट सो वॉट इज रिटर्न बिलो द पिक्चर नितिन टॉक्स टू हिज फ्रेंड राजा राज सॉरी नितिन टॉक्स टू हिज फ्रेंड राज एंड अनादर पिक्चर इज द सन राइजेस इन द ईस्ट नितिन टॉक्स टू हिज फ्रेंड राज एंड द सन राइजेस इन द ईस्ट दीज आर द टू एग्जाम्पल्स आर गिवेन सो वाई रीडिंग दीज एग्जाम्पल्स Have you given attention to the words those who are written in bold and underlined children? Yes. In the first sentence the word talks and the another sentence the word rises. So what these words are indicating? Yes, these words are showing the action in the sentence, right? So in the above sentences talks tell us about tells us about the subject nitin and the verb rises tells about the subject the sun so they are telling about us the action done by the subject in the sentences isn't it the word talks tells us about the subject nitin nitin talks with his friend raj so who is talking nitin so nitin is the subject so what nitin is doing he is talking so talk is the action word in the sentence same way the sun rises in the east so what rises the sun so the sun is the subject and what is the action the sun is doing it is rising so rises is the action words so we can say a verb is the most important word in a sentence so without a verb the sentence will not be the correct one or cannot give you the complete meaning okay now there is one activity given children below these examples underline the verbs in the following sentences we have to underline the action verbs okay action words which shows action in the sentence they are called as verbs isn't it so we are going to underline them rani speaks softly so what is the subject in this sentence the first in the first sentence which is the subject that's great very good rani is the subject so what action rani is doing she is speaking so which is the action word speaks so we will underline the verb speaks which is the action word which is the verb in this sentence speaks let's move ahead and see the second sentence hari works very hard in the field hari works very hard in the field now again try to find out which is the subject who is the doer of the action hari very good and what action he is doing works very good so works is the verb in this sentence so we have underlined works here next sentence so third sentence is i wrote a letter to my uncle so subject is very simple i and what the action i is doing writing a letter 
so the word wrote is an action word that is the verb wrote next question the small seed grew into a tall sunflower the small seed grew into a tall sunflower which is the verb in the sentence grew very good the children enjoyed their trip to the fun park the children enjoyed the trip to the fun park and the action word that is verb in the sentence is since the subject is the children so very simple to identify the verb yes enjoyed the children enjoyed their trip to the fun park my friend is playing in the ground my friend is playing in the ground and the action word the verb in the sentence is playing my friend is playing in the ground so six we have covered in today's presentation children remaining six you will do at home on your own it's very easy right let's move ahead and see activity b write five sentences using the following verbs now children there in the box they have given five words they all are verbs action words so we have to frame five sentences we have to write five sentences using the following verbs so the which are the words given in the bracket or in the box let's read it aloud the first one moves talks teaches sits jumps come on repeat it moves talks teaches sits and jumps let's make the first sentence using the word moves the train moves very fast the train moves very fast next talks so what is the sentence we have written here the teacher talks to the students the teacher talks to the students third word is teaches my mother teaches me good habits my mother teaches me good habits fourth the word given to us is sits tina sits near me tina sits near me and the fifth word is jumps the monkey jumps from the tree the monkey jumps you are writing in the book simultaneously no children okay the monkey jumps from the tree so this way we have made five sentences with the verbs given to us that are moves talks teaches sits and jumps easy good let's move to our next topic that is helping verbs so far we have seen the verbs they are action words which shows the action in the sentence the action of the doer in the sentence that is the subject so let us see more about helping verbs so there are some verbs which help other verbs to do their work as its name suggests us they are helping verbs why because they help the other verbs do their work for example let's see i am helping my mother now in the sentence which is the action word verb help helping right so which word is uh, helping it the verb am so am helping so i am helping my verb mother so here the subject is i 
and the verb is helping but the word am is helping the verb in the sentence so it is called as helping verb understood you will understand with more examples let's see more examples second sentence it is raining heavily it is raining heavily now the subject is it action word is that is verb is raining very good so which word is uh, helping the main verb that is is it is raining heavily so in the first sentence am is the helping verb in the second sentence is is the helping verb now let's see the third sentence joy was eating a cake joy was eating a cake now here the action word is eating and the subject is joy and the verb which is the word which is helping the verb is was so was is the helping verb fourth sentence children are playing outside now you can see the word underlined is are which is the helping verb and it is helping the verb playing playing is the action word isn't it fifth sentence hari and raj were working in the site hari and raj were working in the site here the helping verb is were and it is helping the word working and hari and raj they are the subject six sentence she was very busy then she was very busy then here was is the helping verb so in these sentences we have seen am is are was where these words were underlined and while explaining i told you how they are helping the verb in the sentence so they are called as helping verbs and these verbs tell us when something is happening okay is was am were has have these all are the helping verbs and with the help of these helping verbs we come to know that when something is happened okay so we come to know about the tense of that sentence now here in your book there is a list of some helping verb is given let's see you can read it aloud with me am is was are were am is was are were be being been do does did has have had shall will should would must may might can could these were the uh, some examples of helping verbs are given in the book now there is one very interesting activity i'm giving you as a homework which is there on your page number 48 it is nothing but again solving the puzzle so uh, spot the helping verbs in the following puzzle the uh, grid is given you have to solve that puzzle and what you have to find there the helping verbs now b activity fill in the blanks with correct verbs from the box now we have given some helping verbs in the bracket and we have to use the correct form of that verb in the blank given o i dash board o i dash board so what do we use usually which helping verb be used with i i is board i am board or i are board very clever answer is i am board i am board 
it dash the best place to play and the options given are is am are it is the best place to play it am the best best place to play or it are the best place to play which is the best suitable answer children is very good it is the best place to play so here we come to an end of today's chapter that is verbs today we have seen the action words are called as verbs and they tell us more about the subject the doer of the action in the sentence at the same time we have seen helping verbs okay so remaining part which is there in the chapter we are going to continue in our next video till then solve the puzzle do the homework six examples we have covered in today's period so remaining six uh, answers you have to write let's stop here children thank you sairam